Hey guys, it's BJ, and I'm back again. Thank you for watching. I'm here to review the rest of Danny's story on Love on the Spectrum, the autism dating show. Stay tuned, bitches. Love you all. I'm feeling so excited, you know what yes, I mean? Yes, he like, is. I like that shirt. He's going to get the pussy It's just such an tingling. amazing, like, adventure. It's a great shirt. It looks like a shirt I'd wear. I love the red, the patterns. Fuck yeah, he's definitely got my brand of autism. We like that. I'm back again. Back again, Solomon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like really nervous right now. Fucking hell, did he buy her more flowers? <sighs> Fuck. Mm. She hasn't even sucked his dick really yet. Nice up here, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's my first time actually having you. They love shit. to drink. This is why I'm glad I'm Muslim because when I go on dates with girls, I don't buy them drinks because I don't drink. Mashallah, thank you, Allah. I've saved so much money. And I invest that money in my career and Ethereum and cryptocurrency. And now I have passive income. Fuck yeah. Oh, Ooh. gosh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm this like kind of sensitive noise. Sometimes. Oh, sensitive noise. I used to have sensitive noise. I used to always cover my ears when I was a teenager, when I really struggled with my autism. I'd do this and get scared and noise would scare me. But then I started sleeping with earmuffs and I'm fine now. Illy. Have your parents ever taught you how to pour drinks like this? No. No. Autistic people such as myself have trouble with hand-eye coordination. I used to be really bad at holding a knife and fork and table etiquette, but I did a table etiquette course for like a whole day and now I'm a fucking pro and I'm better than most cunts at how to fucking hold a knife and fork. Mashallah, thank you so much. It's just crazy because like when I first like saw you in the first date, right? I was like, did this beautiful angel and soul came from the universe just for me? I do like you so much, but <laughs> yeah. well, we should try not to kiss too soon. That's okay. Um You've already kissed, dude. Stop listening to what all the non-autistic people are telling you to do. It's not the reality. Stop following the rules. The dating rules are trash. You are you and you are not like the other girls. What a lovely... Sunset. Yeah, that sunset is dwelling inside your beautiful soul and presence. So I cute. I wonder if he pre-wrote that before the date. I reckon that was in one of his poems. Of course it was. It would be really great at creative writing, which is something with, which is she a knows. great talent. Yeah, she fucking mom. knows. She's a high IQ individual and she knows where his playbook comes from. You have something on your face. Uh, oh. Calm. She's your beautiful essence. Oh, thank you. What? This is sort of cringe now. It's okay to take it slow. It is. But based on everything she's done in this date, she's not taking it slow. And I'm proud of her for that. She's being authentic. Like Marilyn Monroe said, like it's better for people to hate you for being real than is to like love you for being fake. And this is why you should only date autistic people because at least you know they're being real. It's been two weeks since Danny's second date with Solomon. So I just want to talk to Solomon. I just want to ask him that can we still be friends? Can Poor we still Solomon. Be friends if it's possible. I hope I don't hurt his feelings. Maybe he's just not ambitious enough for her, and I think that's good. Maybe she does need a gold digger, just like maybe I should be dating Mariah Carey or Madonna or Gina Reinhardt or some rich old woman. Hey, oh, Solly. Hey, Danny. It's been a long time. <laughs> there is one thing I just want to talk to you about. I don't think we're compatible. Aww. I think he's going to be really disappointed, but six months down the track, he'll be grateful because he can do better than her. Like, I've been hurt before, but I wrote lots of banger pop songs after I got rejected, so I'm going to have passive income for life. Oh, Because I'm strong. I know, you're strong. All right, you're good. Because businesswoman, don't cry. Who is feeding her this stupid, fake, toxic feminism rubbish about businesswomen not crying? She needs to fucking throw out all those feminism books and start reading the Quran. Silly, silly girl. Silly girl. After things didn't work out with Solomon, Danny is preparing for a night of speed dating. Hi, I'm Danny. You're yeah, what? And what's your name? Oh, what's your name? I'm sorry. I'm Danny. Danny? Nice to meet you. I'm Adon. Nice to... I can't hear you? Oh, my name's Adon. A Adon? Yeah, Adon. It's actually Adam in English, but I prefer Adon. Have you heard of autism? Have you heard of autism? Do you know what autism is? I was born with it myself. I am too. Yeah, I knew it. He looks autistic. Yes. Oh. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. 
One of my characters, uh, his name's Scales. He's from another planet. You can actually breathe underwater and swim really fast. I like make him a little raspy, like, I am a dog like this. They're too autistic for me. I put them both in the friend zone. Fuck this shit. <laughs> After matching with the dawn at speed I'm dating, so happy. Danny is waiting to meet him for dinner. Mm. I hope he doesn't pay. I hope she splits the bill. If this bitch doesn't split the bill, walk away because you don't want to sign up for a simping pyramid scheme. If I'm going on a date with a girl, my time is very valuable. Why am I paying for some bitch to be here when I'm obviously more entertaining than her? Like, she gets a free concert at the BJ fucking palace. Why the fuck would I make this? Why would I pay for a bitch? Like, I doubt fucking... Lady Gaga is going to give free tickets away to someone that's not as entertaining as her. Like, I wouldn't do that if I was a pop star. When I was a teenager, I had a Lady Gaga poster I'd hook up with every night before I went to bed and a Marilyn Monroe DVD and I'd hook up with that. And now I just have wet dreams over Olivia Rodrigo. And that's my toy. Hello, Adon. Hey, Danny, good to see you. It's been a while since the speed dating. Same here. <laughs> Let's just go have a seat and just talk Sounds about... Good. When are you looking for in a partner? A fuck someone buddy. who's supportive, someone who's kind, and someone who feels confident about themselves. I like yeah. this. I just feel like he's gonna really like her, but he's more laid back, and I like the fact that he's laid back and less intense than the other guys she's gone on dates with, and I think he's got a good chance with her, even though he's not that hot. You are a trustworthy person I can see in the heart. I mean, like, <laughs> like the saying goes, never, don't judge a book by its cover. I, I read I you tears. like a book, at first line you had me hooked I found my perfect lover cause I didn't judge you by your cover That's a song I wrote, oh my god, cute little BJ Pop star BJ's ready to take over the world, motherfucker Anyways, I guess it's been a nice dinner and it's really nice talking with She's you She's too mellow now official first date Oh, this is a thing with a lot of autistic people They um have this challenge where like they go into a social situation, come across too intense, make a fool of themselves, and they like retreat. And it's so sad. I feel like this girl is not being herself. It's really, it's really great, great getting to know you, Adon. Great to get to know you too, Danny. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested on the second date? This girl is a good girl. She knows what she wants and she's asked for what she wants and that's why she deserves to get it. I would be. Yes. <laughs> Maybe at an animation event. Good. Who knows? That would be nice. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you too, Danny. All Thank right. you. I think the evolution of Danny has been a very interesting process to watch. It's interesting how she came across as too intense and then by the second date she was more chill. And I feel as though if she didn't have those experiences with that other guy, she probably wouldn't have been so successful with Adon. She just would have come across too strong and it would have been a complete failure. Um, I think she'll probably ghost Adon. I reckon she'll fucking date this other guy and she'll be like, oh my god, something came up. Oh my god, so sorry. Something will come up. That's what she'll say. Something came up. That's what most girls do. Something came up. <laughs> Of course she did. Of course she went back to Solomon. This is the thing. This is what a lot of girls do. They'll meet a guy that they really like and then they'll be like, Oh, I'm not interested. Oh, sorry. I got to see what else is out there and what else is available. And then two months later, she'll text the guy that she said, Sorry, I'm not interested and be like, Oh my God, you were perfect for me all along. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I got to make it up to you and suck your dick so hard. And I'm not surprised this has happened because this is like a classic love story of I like you but I want to see what else is on the market. Of course they reunited. They've oh, of course they did. I've oh, of course they've since broken up. They love bombed each other again. Round two of love bombing. Of course they did that. This... Wow. She's just going jumping from one guy to the next all the fucking time. This just shows people don't show loyalty to anything other than their emotions. And most people are emotionally unstable, so why should you date anyone? Just be single, focus on yourself, and just realize the dating game is very backwards and destructive and you don't need to be part of it. Focus on yourself, save your money, and don't ever make a girl pay for a meal.